Hi, I'm Andy Howarth, uh, Product Manager at Access Bay for Swift and GPI. Okay, so we spoke a little bit about what GPI is, so today we're going to look at you know, what's the benefit to the banks of GPI. So this is a whole lot of data that banks have now got access to. So Swift really is developed in partnership with the banks for the banks, so there's obviously going to be a lot that GPI can do for them. So one of the key things is correspondent SLA monitoring. So today you have banks who will have a correspondent network and they might have multiple different nostrils in different countries and what they're going to look at is which of my correspondents and my agent banks are giving me the best value for money in the services that I provide. So I'm sending transactions all over the globe. Today I'm heavily dependent on reporting and analytics provided by my correspondent. So really what this gives the bank the access to now is as the remitting party they can see how long things have taken on their correspondent bank side. So you've got things like looking at overall currencies that they remit. So you know what markets am I heavily involved in? Where do I put most of my nostril traffic through? And in turn, that's going to give them a lot of data around uh, charges and fees. All this is available in the Swift GPI tracker that the bank has access to. Uh, intermediary processing times. So again, if I have one correspondent which is processing transactions for me at a particularly slow time, I can raise that in SLAs and service delivery conversations with that bank. And uh, we also have all kinds of data around transactions and, and analytics and new tools for the bank to kind of push through and find ways of reporting back on their own cash activity that they might be processing. We also have things around liquidity management. So today the banks are heavily reliant on uh, swift messaging for their cash management reporting. So their correspondent banks sending them intraday liquidity statements, uh, statements of credit for individual transactions over the swift network. What this will do is give them visibility into uh, the further processing of the payment that they haven't had today. So when the, when the payment leaves the bank's uh, operating platform, they have very little visibility other than what the correspondent is going to show them. Now with GPI, they're going to be able to see that payment move all the way through the infrastructure, straight through to the beneficiary's account, giving them that extra level of detail on where the payment is once it's left their system. Alongside that, you then have the value data in the funds. So a big thing around cash when you're moving in the market is there might be delays, whether it's a hold up due to a reconciliation issue with the correspondent or the beneficiary bank, but ultimately someone is going to lose value on that remitted fund. So that means loss of interest, loss of opportunity to, to invest, and ultimately the beneficiary bank is going to try and claim back some of their costs. What this does in, in GPI is it gives visibility throughout the whole process. So who held the funds up the longest, why were they held up, investigation reasons being added to the tracker, it's all the information that the banks are going to want to get their hands on and process. And then we have a charge reclaim process as well. So any messaging moving around the SWIFT network is going to be subject to some level of charging, whether that's correspondent fees, beneficiary bank fees and intermediary fees. Now that's an untapped revenue stream for a lot of banks because the process to reclaim those charges is quite onerous. You need investigation teams, you have staff to look at the, the payment messages coming in and determine which are eligible for charging and which ones aren't. GPI, you have all that data available to you in a single source. So you can produce tools and analytics to pull that down, take a look at it and send out invoices to your correspondent banks or beneficiary banks and remitters to claim back these charges. So it's really opening up some revenue streams there as well for the, for the banks. Um, and something that's not really on the board but I just want to touch on is the, the benefit the banks are going to see to their service delivery. So if you imagine you send a parcel via FedEx or Royal Mail and you didn't have the ability to go and self-serve and look where that parcel is, you're going to have to call up the office, the service desk of that provider and ask them to give you an update. Now that's the state of play today for banks. They're dealing with influxes of queries from customers around where's my payment, why are these charges been deducted and kind of where is it now in, in terms of the global infrastructure for the payment systems. So GPI is going to give them a real kind of way of giving their customers self-service. Uh, they're going to be able to give them tracking references similar to like a parcel and the customer is going to know exactly where it is. Now obviously that's a benefit to the customer themselves but it's also a benefit to the bank because they're going to see a massive dec decrease in the number of queries they get in to their investigation teams and their service delivery teams. And we're already seeing some reports from SWIFT that banks have reported up to 50% reduction in their queries already. So there's really a lot out there for the banks and you know, that needs to water down and come through to the corporates eventually, but this is really where they're going to feel the benefit.